Hey everybody, Aaron here. Welcome back to another anime review. Today we look at Akaba Strip episode 10. So, this episode's stupid. I, you know, the more I think about it, like, and I've been, I have had to, I've had to redo this review probably like several times, but it, it's stupid in a funny way because there are a lot of things it makes fun of, I think, in, in a lot of shows in general, but probably the fact that it's the way it's handled is typical Akaba Strip at this point. Like, I, I don't expect anything more or less from the show, and, and that's what I think makes it so okay. It makes it like where it's not the best show out there, of course, obviously, but it's a fun show to watch, you know. Um, the whole concept of his friend having a girlfriend and him not, of course, you know, that, that was going to lead into the obvious territory of, like, him falling apart because he's so upset that, you know, his friend got a girlfriend. But you knew that was where this was going to lead to. You knew for a fact that this was going to have Tomatsu all of a sudden end up hooking up with one of the girls. And it wasn't really a surprise when the person who jumps up to the front, of course, is Mayo because, you know, why the hell not? She's the only one that really likes Tomatsu in that way. I think... I think Arisa likes Tomatsu also, but she doesn't like him in the same way that Mayo does. Cause, and by the way, I know her name's not Mayo, but I, come on. I think they even make fun of her name, actually, to say it's Mayo like a thousand times. I mean, the group's name is Electric Mayonnaise. Exactly. Um, but, you know, they end up going to a whole bunch of dates, which there aren't really dates. They're just going to different food restaurants. Like, they go to one place after another, after another, which leads them to the whole thing of the week, which is the um, the challenge of the week. Which, okay, so last week was the wrestling thing. This week now is a food contest. I, I get it, but it's like, you guys have to chill out with the, the stupid comp competitions all the time. It's a little goofy. Um but it wasn't that it was. This was a bad episode. Like I don't want to say that by any means. I, I think it was funny. The food competition part was j ridiculous because it's stuff that you actually see if you watch um, real life food competition stuff. It's stuff that they pull off, but they do it. They do it in the show in a lot more of a comedic way. Like she's flipping her her ramen upside down because it's, it it lets it cool down. So because it goes in the air, and then you know he's throwing water into the the, the soup. So this way it's cooled down perfectly and he could drink the, the, the ramen without having to feel like he's getting full for a little while, etc. Um, if, if you were worried about the whole thing of having a bugged one of this episode, I don't know why you would because you knew for a fact that this guy was going to be a bugged one. I don't know why. I don't think anyone probably was surprised if you're watching the show that this guy was going to be a bugged one. But um, I think, you know, dear, I think the whole bugged one part of this, this week was very funny, though. He was like an empty, bottomless hole. I mean, it was kind of fitting, you know, it makes sense, it, at least for every sing in comparison to every single other episode for this, this series so far, this makes sense in many ways uh, for his type. I do have one, you know, curiosity about this episode, it was the actual very, very ending of the episode where we see this unknown person that looks a lot like Mayo, but with a mask, and she's got like a, a long sword and stuff like that, I'm like... Huh, are they going to pull, like, oh, she's got a sister, but the sister is actually evil? Also, I don't know if anyone noticed, but, so, Mayo probably is very old, because she was talking about a time period where there was no food in Akaba. So, yeah, that was only during, like, probably before World War Two stuff. So, interesting enough. So, most likely because of her ability to, you know, be essentially a bugged one slash a regular human, she's probably, you know able to live a lot longer um i what if if not if i'm not mistaken i know they pulled that stunt with the second game because the second game has it where the characters and by the way i say second game but you know akaba strip technically the undead and undressed is actually the first like actual game with that title you know there is another game called akaba's beat but the thing is is that even though that's technically the, the prequel it has nothing to do with akaba strip so i always tell people that because it's like they're two different games entirely and, you know, I, I realized when in my first review, I kind of mis, I, I misinterpreted that because I'm like, oh, maybe they're going more off the first game rather than the second one. But then I realized, oh, no, they're just doing something with the second one instead, which is really the only one that exists that's like this, if that makes any sense. Uh, but, you know, in, in the game, though, with uh, the, the one character who's like one of the main girls in that, ca in that game, I forgot her name off the top of my head, but she was actually a half vampire slash half human, with the, which is the synthesizers they call them in the show. Um, and that game, excuse me. And she says that she lived for like hundreds of years too, or at least like, at least for a couple decades longer than most humans, and it was only looked like a teenager. So, yeah, I'm thinking they might be doing something very similar with this, to be honest. But that was, I thought that was kind of interesting. Anyways, 
I will talk to you later. This is a okay episode. I, I don't think anyone watches this show at this point and expects something grandiose from it. They probably expect what they're getting right now from it. And that's perfectly fine. I think that this show is doing a good job of just being entertaining each week. To be that's that's to me at least honestly. But anyways, I will talk to you later. Have a blessed day, everyone. As always, if you like these reviews, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, share the video. You know the whole nine. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye.